What ep all right, guess what episode this is. That you've uploaded. Here. Okay, let's hear it. No, guess what episode and what number. Oh, this episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 57? <laughs> no way! No, give me a real guess. That is a real guess. Okay. I, I want... I want to see how wrong you are, because you're definitely way off. I mean, we were shockingly far along. When were we? we? Stopped. Yeah, I mean... Hmm, I feel like you're wrong. If you're right, I will be amazed. Okay. I was gonna ask someone. But it's one of those things question. where, like, you're you're always excited about this shit when we're recording, but then uh, you I'll like walk into your room like while I'm editing this, and I'll be like, "Hey, Eric, you were right when you guessed this random number for whatever episode," and you'll be like, "Oh, cool." <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm in a bad mood, probably. Because you're you're playing online with our sibling. Yeah. He, he well, hangs out. He th th hangs out with mood. our other sibling more than me. Yeah. Well. Okay, Michael. What do you want to do? <laughs> We'll be running around now. It's fine. Yeah, we'll, 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 you you tell me you tell me tell me when we'll we'll hang out and play some vi video games. <laughs> that was in the 3D Mickey Mouse movie. <laughs> that's a good reference. No, Remember, that's something um, that you used to do. You'd be like, uh, "Hey, Michael, and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be from something." <laughs> well, because um, because. Um, None of, of our, our humor uncreative, is original. Our uncreative reference humor has got to be from something. You're right. I'm going to create a new joke right now. Brand new, no references. Okay, let's hear it. One of those air, airport airplane pillows, but it covers your whole body. What are you talking about? One of, you know, the little hard pillows? Yes. But it covers everything but your face. Oh. So it has a hole for your face. Yeah. Okay. Your so nose, they, if somebody's looking at you from the side, they just see the tip of your nose sticking out. Okay. Okay, that's pretty funny. Yeah, see? Um... How about, um... Oh, this is hard. Um... A bug with seven legs. Bug with seven legs. Yeah, that's pretty funny, right? I mean, you realize that bugs are like blood-sucking ticks, right? They're not technically insects. Yeah. But they probably one. don't have seven legs. Yeah. See, it's absurd and hilarious. Yeah, I guess that is pretty funny. Yeah. See, I'm two for two. Those are barnstorms. You can tell by how hard Michael's laughing. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not. Remember that part and like when we were doing chapter two, and you made the joke about how uh, what's her face, Marilyn, the yellow hair. Oh, it was gonna oh, yeah. rip off her face and it would reveal Rowan Atkinson or something like that. <laughs> and then I, like I laughed so hard that I couldn't breathe. Yeah, and it's reference joke, Michael. I'm trying to move away from the classic references. I'm saying that. Remember I my laugh. classic jokes: airport I'm saying... pillow and bug with seven legs. Yeah, I remember Why those. Why are you laughing so hard you can't I like, breathe then, I like huh? I like how now the airport pillow... Careful what you wish for, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying that the airport pillow and the uh, the bug with seven legs have now become reference humor. Because you just referred to them just now. <laughs> no! You're like, Fuck Michael, it, remember when I did that funny we're joke? Just, let's just talk about, go back to talking about Piggly Winks. Yeah. And Fly Me to the Moon. Have you seen Fly Me to the Moon? Frank Sinatra song? No, it's well, it's probably a, sort of a reference. Let's just say it's one of those movies Christopher Lloyd did a voice in. <laughs> that should already give you a. Marty! That should already. We you gotta know, get back to the future, Marty! Like, a, you know, Oogie Loves or Fantastic Force. What other. He, d he did other shit movies too, but. Um, no, it's, it's the one with the flies I told you about, where the fly wants to go to the moon. It's like Is horrible. This... Sl it's that horrible, slow, cheap CG. I feel like I'll show you, you told picture. Me about you're gonna this. be like, "Oh, I re I've already seen this movie." <laughs> I remember the flies from that Racing Stripes movie with Wendy Malick and Jason Lee. No, 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 no. That that that's good. With the little the the, the CGI flies. <laughs> Well, let's let it load. 
Ew. This is clip 5 out of 11 of flying me to the moon, in case... It's on movie clips, Michael. <laughs> yeah, they're... What the fuck? Why did they have bug-sized spacesuits? I don't remember. Why would they have that? This goes on for quite a while. I think he probably farts as well. Is it? Is it as? Is it like the <laughs> dance scene from Space Chimps 2? No, 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 no. That is. You have to watch. We have to watch. You have to watch Space Chimps 2. I Are think the it's Indian doctor dances. This is the. Okay. Yeah, and Christopher Lloyd plays the old. Oh, I get it. Fly me to the moon. That's okay. right. That's right. And they all fly pun names. But Christopher Lloyd plays the old fly, who like wanted to go to the moon but never could. So his son is inspired by the story, wants to go to the moon, and then he goes to the moon. It's Imagine, Christopher Lloyd looks like the biggest creeper in the world. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, it works. In uh, Back to the Future and... Uh, coming! They're floating in the water! The Adams Family. Although he was wearing a little makeup in um, uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I want to say I told you about this, but did you know that they made, like, a special feature for, like, the Blu-ray release of Back to the Future 2, where they explained in-universe why that version of 2015 is different from the real version? Uh, they have some sort of, uh, parsecs is actually, uh, a distance, but they use the black hole sort of explanation for yeah, it. Yeah, it's something about, like, the space, the space almanac, the sports almanac created, like, an alternate timeline. Mmm, let me see, let me see. Then Dr. Doc Brown had like an adventure off screen where he corrected the timeline or something. It was dumb. Uh, everybody go look at this Wikipedia article for more information. <laughs> Alright, Michael, you've, you've created a movie where you've made a wild, ridiculous prediction for something that's ten years from now. Okay. Ten years comes around and you need to make up an explanation for it. What's your explanation, huh? If you're gonna make fun of them, huh? Let's hear your explanation. For this mistake you made. You made this mistake, now you gotta fix it. Shit, so you're saying it's an episode of Tack and the Power of Juju? Yes. Or Jimmy Neutron. Or, um, Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah. But you, instead of, instead of being like those cowards who use magic and ridiculous, you know, Fake inventions. You have to, you, you know, you have to take personal responsibility. Okay. Well, what is it that I'm fixing? You, you've made a, a movie that's adored by millions, but you made the mistake. You, you made a prediction that was wildly untrue about something ten years in the future. Ten oh. years rolls around, and you have to, you know. Okay. So what I. Do you, what do you have to say for yourself? I predicted that there wouldn't be a pandemic in 2020. Yeah, that's right. And then everybody comes, like people on on Reddit. Are coming up to you. Well, wow. <laughs> <sighs> I've got nothing. Oh, we knew it. You're a scam artist. Uh, oh, wait till you see what happens to the Metacritic for your film. Okay. I don't know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for that pirate treasure, and then, well. Our ship got surrounded by ghosts out in the ocean, and we all ended up here! Hey, aren't you Mario? I don't remember the voices for these guys at all. Were it's they, me, Don Piantz! Were Don they stereotypical Don Italians? Don Piantz's daughter, Francesca! And Frankie's here too! Francesca! After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip! The ship we were on got a little too close to this island, now look at us! Still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true! Look at those which means ridiculous he's wedding nearby. rings. Oh yeah, don't forget about those. We're gonna be fucking wasting our time on that shit later. Hey, so by the way, why are <laughs> you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. Daddy? What? You're after the pirate's treasure because it might contain a crystal star. Oh, I think the treasure is right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Fun yeah, fact. I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him though. You look tough. Fun fact. Piantalopes are both fruit indigenous to the uh <laughs> in the Delfino Isle. And it's also the the subplot of this video game. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us in that raft, so smack him one for me. Uh -huh. Frankie and I are just so in love anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. 
Hey, Puddin Pie, cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe, everyone's watching. Get out of here, it's treasure enough for us! But how do we get out? What's wrong with their their heads? With the little stitches? Oh my god, what's wrong, wrong with, with your, your face? face? Making fun of a but, reference oh. humor. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I, uh, got lost along the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path, and then finally I caught up with you, and then, uh... Listen, uh, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the crystal star's inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez is in there, too. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. <laughs> did he say that? Did you, I wasn't even paying attention. Did he say that, or did you he say did. that? He did. He actually said that. Oh. Well, I suppose he said all the TV business earlier right in front of him, so, you know. Just so the, the six-year-old playing the game <sighs> knows what's going on. <laughs> you ignored my warning. Ooh. Come inside the door and be lost in darkness. This is like the Wizard of Oz, but if he actually was a wizard. Yeah. And not played by Ronnie the Skeleton or whatever his name is. James yeah, Franco. It's definitely Ronnie the Skeleton. James. <laughs> it's either Ronnie the Skeleton or James Franco. It's one of the two. You're right. Yeah. Michael, what's your favorite, besides Ronnie the Skeleton, favorite, um person in the in the, the Chris Gamer cinematic, cinematic universe. universe. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even gonna know that. The wise sage. What 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 does he have a funny voice? He's basically the he, he, his the joke is that he's the Obi Wan Kenobi Force Ghost, basically. Yes, but does he say like like uh funny Luke things? Luke And he just walks through a shot, basically, <laughs> and it's terrible. Yeah, but that, that does sound kinda funny. But maybe exactly. it's just the way you're describing it and thinking of it as, you know. Hey man, you know, give, give you gotta give uh, old Chris, Chris Boris the credit where the credit is a deal. You're right. Yeah, I've, I've told you my, my, my game theory that he's a secret genius, right? Yes. I'm not convinced, but then again, I haven't watched them all 8 million times like you <laughs> He's got a tiny floating helicopter made for one. This game even brings something new to the table by having a whole level where you ride around in a small helicopter made for one. <laughs> <laughs> that is a compelling piece of evidence. I'll give you that. Come into my... <coughs> Enough. I grow tired of this spooky business. I'm a pirate, blessed it. Pirates do not moon. Why is he French? I'm trying to do a Spanish, but it's not working. <coughs> uh, Pretend you're in Ferdinand. Put yourself there. <laughs> I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs innocence of life and loot, not a crying ghost. Remember the part in Ferdinand where that one bull gets one of his yeah, horns Yeah, yeah, and he's off? like on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets shipped off to the meat packing place. Yeah, that's where he is. He's in the meat. They have to save him from the meat packing plant. And he's like, and I, I thought we were never going to see him again. And I laughed hysterically. <laughs> that is really funny. Uh, I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs. Michael's favorite fictional. No sense of life and loot. Not a crying ghost. Michael's favorite fictional character is Goat, and you. Goat McKinnon. Oh, yeah. She was in that. You're a big fan of Goat McKinnon. After my All treasure. Right. And this, Wait this a minute. is my sheep. What are you doing here? Look at his treasure. Yeah. He's got a sweet ruby. Yeah. All right. And he's got I a mean, pearl necklace. He's worth fighting. That is a sweet pearl necklace. That's probably it, though. I mean, that's gold, you know, and <laughs> all that other crap. It annoys me that I cannot remember what a Spanish person sounds like right now. Um, I'm not still not convinced they exist. Fuck. <laughs> and this, this is my There's no is such thing ship. as a Spaniard. What are you doing here? Confirmed. Speak. I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving up. 
Yeah, I'm, I give up. I don't remember what a Spanish person sounds like. Okay, so this boss kind of sucks. Um, Did I tell you about Ferdinand Juice? What? Ferdinand Juice? No. Is that anything like, um... What the probably, fuck was that? This isn't a good enough... St it, it'll probably be better if I just leave it as the Ferdinand Juice story than I actually told it, so... What was it? There was this one thing you bought there. <laughs> from, from a grocery store once called, like, Comrade Cola or something like that. Yeah, that was a while ago. It was a taste worth standing in line for. A taste worth standing in line for, It comrade. was really weird that it was just being sold, and I was like, what the in fuck America. is this? In America. Well, I mean, it's like, yeah, it's like a joke. And it's just, like, in a normal-ass grocery store. I thought maybe they have, like, lots of novelty colas. At the grocery store, I just never paid attention up until that moment. That was a while ago. I don't remember if it tasted good, I don't think it did. Uh, surprisingly. Leninade, that's what it was. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. The classic moment. You know, the f first man juice. Let's leave it there. Wait, is this this? I can't hear the music, it all sounds like the... The, uh, fight with, uh... Tubba Glubba. <laughs> Not tub What's his name? The guy in this game who gets big. Mr. Grubba? Yeah, Mr. Grubba. Macho Grubba. You know that song? It's like, wee, 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 wee. And I can't hear the fucking music. Is it the s It's not the same song, though, right? No, it is not. This boss is kind of freaky. Is it two phase? I could have swear he goes like back and. I guess he goes back and forth. I guess that is technically two phases. Right? Because he goes back and forth between. This and whatever. Oh fuck! Kind of reminds me of the little skeletons from Yoshi's story. Little bone dragons. Oh yeah, the bone dragons. I remember them. Yo, yo, Yoshi. Yoshi. What is he saying? That like little like sewer rap. He goes, he, like says a little thing. I'm beating the IRS at my own game. No, yeah, I'm not talking about that. <laughs> Whatever. That's a, such a fun song. I wish there's just more weird because they obviously do the thing, you know. Here it comes. You got the, you got the, you probably got the word for it on the tip of your tongue. But when they do the same song, and like have different versions of it. Fuck. Yep, that's it. That's the word. And um, yeah, they do that. That game for like every level is the same song, but they have different oh, spins on it. Oh, light motif. Yeah, there it is. Um, but I feel like they should have done more crazy shit if you're gonna do that, you know? Don't get me wrong, I actually like the soundtrack, even though I, you know, I get why somebody might be annoyed by it. Fuck! All being the same. What is with the timing on there? But I like it, like, it's all different enough, but, like, I wish they just did more crazy shit. Mm hmm You, you wanted a, uh, Miles Davis-style jazz number. I wanna... Yeah, I want um, a Rem Lazar like thing where they do all the genres. Apparently, that was like one of the first internet memes. Rem Lazar? No, the that song. Oh. I'm somewhere even higher. Rem Lazar. Yeah, but what? no, I think that that'd be cool. I just want to see more crazy shit from video games, you know. <laughs> what a what a reasonable request. Give me some crazy shit. I just want to get weird with it. Trash man. Have you ever actually watched that show? Nah. Nah. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't see you liking it that much. I really liked it for like a little bit, but then I haven't seen it in forever. I don't know how much I'd like it or not like it recently, but. Is that little man in the audience gonna explode all the little other men, the yes. other little men in the audience? Sounds fun, interactive. Wait, you're getting your, 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 you're getting picked up by a pigtails. Are you gonna lose? I fucking smoke so much. <laughs> Just double up, and then I won't die. Okay, what? What sequel would you want to come out? You know, everybody's always want the, wants their sequel to whatever. Or their new game from this IP or whatever. What do you want, huh? What do you want, Michael? Hmm? 
<sighs> a sequel to something, uh, Klonoa. There you go. Oh yeah, you do like your Klonoa. <laughs>